You know, it started off with the Plinth Project. Originally, the director, Harry Philbrick, invited me. I had worked with him when I did a show at the Aldrich Museum in 2010. And then he moved to this new position here, and he said, you know, you have to see this building. You have to, it's just an amazing space. He had this idea to do a Plinth Project where um, it's, you know, inviting artists to do a sculpture that'll be on the Plinth for a year. So we came to discuss that and to look at the space, and then we started to talk about other opportunities and what else could be done, and slowly the project just grew into a, to an overall, like, painting and sculpture exhibition. Coming to meet with Harry is the first time I saw the space, and I was blown away. I was just, um, I don't know, I mean, it's just amazing, you know, this building and how much other great architecture is in Philly. A lot of the pieces are borrowed in existing images and, or existing works, and um, then I made other things like this installation behind me that was kind of a direct response to the wall hanging across from it. Um, more in scale and just, you know, a lot, a lot with when I make the show, I was thinking about architecture and thinking about the space, how the work would, you know, play against the sort of, you know, paintings that are 100 years old and different things that at their time were, you know, sort of shocking or and be kind of come the norm. The sculptures outside, they're eight, eight feet tall. I've done wooden ones in Switzerland that were, you know, 30 feet tall and 12 tons. I like to stay busy. You know, so it's fun to kind of get to hop in and out of these different worlds and work with people who, you know, do what they do well in different sort of environments. You know, something like the MTV Music Awards is just, it was a great opportunity. And that's another project that just grew. I originally was just supposed to do the, the award and then they, they saw the award and they were like, you know, are you interested in designing a stadium? It just kind of grows. And I kind of try to keep it interesting, you know, just wake and make. And that sounds weird, but it's not, it's not that difficult. It's, um, it's more about just figuring out what you want to make and, and executing it. You know, the sculpture out front on the plinth is actually the first time I worked in aluminum. And um, you wouldn't know by seeing it, but I try to make it look just like the plastic toys or like the fiberglass ones or, you know, the heads behind me are bronze, but they, they look kind of plastic as well. I try to just kind of do what I'm doing at the moment and focus on that and try to do it well. You know, I never really had a plan. I, I don't think there could have been a plan for the sort of trajectory that my work's taking. No, I mean, it's great. You know, I, I definitely, you know, graph and doing that stuff has informed a lot of my work in the beginning and sort of just opened me up to thinking about, you know, different places and people working in different cities and countries. And, you know, you kind of make, you kind of learn a lot about people and different artists and how they work at that time and I can apply all that now. So to come full circle and be on the you know, cover, do a cover for Mass Appeal, is, it's fun. It's good to kind of stay in touch and visit different outlets.